Hi guys and a welcome. Today's video with regards CM0102 is how to have multiple installations. Uh, a lot of people they say they want to go from um, database to database. Now obviously one of the key features that is available, uh, which could be a little bit easier than what I'm about to show you, is the John Bet Starter Kit. You're able to flip from one to the other. This is for the benefit of anyone that doesn't use a starter kit or uh, wants to have uh, full installations. So, based on my last video, uh, you may have, you may or may not recall, I have several installations of CM. Now, when you first install CM0102, uh, it will always be defaulted to, predominantly to your local disk C drive, program files, uh, x86 now what i'm going to do i'm going to show you it's very very easy to do this i'll show you exactly how we do it we're going to install cm we're going to install a, just a complete odb okay very very straightforward this video will not go on as long as the last one i can assure you of that um so there you go so uh, i always personally i always always do it as a custom installation and I take off all this because the the sounds and the pictures don't interest me, so I minimise um, I minimise the amount of space being used. So it is really really straightforward. All it is is you install it, and before you launch CM, before you launch it for the first time, you rename your folder. That that is all you've got to do. But it is so so imperative. That you do it before you launch it. If you if you've already launched the uh, the X, it will fuck it up. Um, it will fuck it up. I should point that out. Um, so let's just go to my drive drive C. So so you can see it's popped up at the top there. Okay, I can't call it ODB because uh, I've already got one ODB. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We're just going to rename it. Once you've renamed it once, that is it. That is it, you cannot rename it again, okay? So be sure you know what you're calling it. Um, okay, so when you've renamed it, your X will probably um, flip back in respect of compatibility. So uh, you need to do that again, okay? It's really important you do that again. But that's after you've renamed it, okay? And that's it, done and dusted. Now, if you want to install again, right, if you want to install a different version of CM, you go through the same uh, procedure. Let's pretend you wanted to do the uh, the 3.968, uh, you know, with the Super Greeks. You do it again, and then you um, you upgrade to the 3.968 after. So I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll do that again. Um, um, I'll, I'll I'll just do it right. So so let me just show you firstly. We'll just load that up quickly. Now, this is going to come in full screen because you've got to think to yourself this is uh, the very so I don't ever play CM in full screen but this is a fresh installation okay 3.960 in the top left hand corner as you can see there yeah all as is okay okay now if, if there was an error it wouldn't have let you load that up okay so that's that so I'll tell you what we'll do now is let's uh, load it again let's do it again put another setup in you cannot edit the uh the, the, the file name now i'm just going to delete them uh, after i've done of course some people play the the listen off um update um so some people may have uh installation like they might have more than what i've got there i've got several okay and what I'll do on this particular, now this next bit is quite important actually, because when you want to uh, do, apply an update, whether it be the latest update, every update that you need to apply, you must upgrade to the, the official 3.968. Um, now it's important that you apply that 3.968 as your very next step. So, so that's already in. Now what I'm going to do now, this point... I will go to uh, the free point. And what happens is it detects you've got CM0102 uh, without it being renamed. This is what it's detecting. That's why it's important that you do not rename it at this stage. Okay? It's so, so important. 
Once that's uh, upgraded to 3.96a, I should point out that when you've got multiple installations like I have, you cannot load anything from the desktop. It must, you must have to browse straight to the folder. As you can see, I've got about six to eight, so I have to go to them manually. So if I'm playing my ODB today, I go to the ODB folder, I fire up the X from there. If I'm playing my um, Nix Patcher latest update later on, I've got to manually do it. That's you know, not an issue for me. Shouldn't be an issue for anyone, to be honest with you. But um, that's what it is. So um, let's hypothetically say that I'm putting the update on this, you have on the update, like I said, the update on anything, any patch that you want to use with CM, you have to apply the 3.96a. Some people want to play uh, the ODB, but with uh, a couple of the tweaks that 3.96a sorted, a uh, couple of errors. And what you do is you upgrade to 3.96a, like I'm doing, and then you you will have should have made a copy of the data files from 3.960, and then copy them back in. Uh, it's the same when some people want to play with a faster speed, with the coloured attributes. Um, that's what you need to do if you want to play the ODB. That's how I've got my ODB set up. I've got my ODB set up, but with using a Nix patcher, where I've kept it as ODB as I can. Where I've all I've done is I've made it faster, and I've got uh, coloured attributes, and I've made um, a couple of the errors fixed. Okay, so that is done. Now, technically, if I want to keep that, let's go back. You see, another one's appeared. And at this point, I'm going to rename. And we'll call it, we'll just call it Greeks, as in, this, I'm sure you all know what I mean by Greeks. It's a super Greeks version. I don't personally like the 3.968. That one that I've got there is not actually 3.968. That is actually, uh, see, that's the Pani 2.19 with the uh, October 13 update. The reason, I don't even know why I call it 3.968, uh, that's my, the only reason I've got that installed is because that is my 100 season plus game of Pep and Ian. Um, and it's just to help me remember and try and keep it a little bit organized. So let's just fire up, uh, before we fire up, remember what we've got to do, make sure your properties are correct. Uh, it's all the same, Windows 95, run as administrator, and bang, bang, bang. And full screen because it's the first time loading it up, and there we go. So as you can see now, if I want to go and load up a, uh, and, and that's what I've done on all my things. Three point nine six eight, and it says in the top left hand corner. Now, if I want to go and load up, uh, if I want to go and load my current game on the current update, which is the October, I call it the October, October twenty one Nick two one nine, which is the latest Nick's patcher that was released a couple of days ago. And if I just fire that up. And you'll notice also that when you go to whichever installation and you go to restore game or save, it auto detects which X you've loaded up. That's why, as you can see, that's why it's important that you don't load uh, start load CM from a desktop. You must go specifically, otherwise this will all fuck up. Okay? And if I just load that up, that will no. And that's it. That is as, as straightforward as it is in respect of uh, having multiple installations. There's, I don't think I've missed anything out uh, of interest. So uh, if you want to delete um, delete anything, it is just a case of... You could say it's not the greatest on your computer to delete um, to delete manually delete like this because technically the game is still installed. But um, when, when I say, or when someone says uninstall CM, normally when you're guiding people on... Uh, fresh installs, normally those people have not got multiple installations like this. It, it is really for advanced users only. So if you're if you're familiar with how to install and, and all the simple stuff like that, then you should have, and you're someone that has multiple installations or you want to, this is how you do it. You'll see I've got one for the DTL, which is a uh, fan, uh, an interactive game I play on the forums, chosenmanager0102.net. I also have an installation for my CML, which is an alternative game to DTL. But I have two different installations. And the reason I've got the in different installations is because they both have different EXEs. Um, and you can't load a saved game from that X into that X. It will crash. Same with that. You can't load an X from there into there. It would be great. And I think that's one thing that the John Betts uh, starter kit does have, I'm sure. Um, 
But to be honest, when the John Betts kit came along, I'd already started these multiple installations, so it's just easy for me to keep it as it is, in all fairness. So uh, that is that's just my backup saves as well. Uh, when I'm moving stuff around, when I'm uninstalling, I put my backup saves in the CM saves file there. So uh, yeah, that is it. That that is literally as straightforward as it is. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them down in the box at the bottom there, and I will answer them. If you've got any requests of anything you want uh, videoed within CM, of course, I want to. Then do give me a shout, and I will hopefully and gladly do that video for you, particularly whilst I've got a few days off work. So, till next time, guys, take it easy.